Hi everybody, Maggie Nolan here with Living Radiant Photography. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I wanna to teach you very quickly um, the basics of off-camera flash and setting your flashes. So uh, I wanna first start out saying that I'm using the Speedlight EL1s from Canon, okay? I'm using two. I have them labeled. Um, one is Mag 1 and the other is Mag 2. We do this because we have four of these plus we have a handful of the um, Canon uh, 600 EXRTs. Um, I have one of those, Patrick has one. So in our camera bags, in our, in our flash case, it's very easy to grab what we know is, is on camera, off camera, and, a, and a, a third. Label your flashes, it's really easy to get these off if you ever wanted to resell them, but um, I know that Mag 1 is already set with what I want as primary, uh, so at reception for a wedding, I just have to turn them on. So we're gonna go very, very basic, okay? So Mag 1 is obviously what's gonna go on top of my camera, okay? Mag 2 is gonna go on top of stand. Sometimes I use an umbrella and sometimes I don't. Whatever room I'm in, wherever my subject is, I'm gonna place myself where I want to be and then I'm gonna put my off-camera flash in a pie. So if you can imagine, I make it like a triangle. Um, the beauty of the triangle is that wherever my flash goes in the room, I have the ability to move. It's just the pie slice, the pie's either getting smaller or bigger, okay? So um, let's start with settings. So I tell everyone when you're learning flash, go ahead and first off, turn them on. You're gonna turn on your flashes. Oh, as I hit a flash, did you see that? Bam. So they're both on. When they're both on, I want you guys to see what it looks like, okay? So when I first turn on them on, it just looks like this. Nothing synced, they're both separate and independent right now, okay? For my Mag 1, I'm gonna turn it, I'm gonna click the center button, on these, it has like a set or button that sets you to the menu. Um, and you're, it says wireless off. I'm gonna click that and I'm make, gonna make that sender. Sender used to be called master. So now Canon has updated their language. So we have sender and receiver instead of slave and master or master and slave. And so my primary, my on-camera mag one is set to sender, okay? And I have it sender with the radio symbol, not the flash because I wanna control I want to control them together. I want to pick the channel that I'm on right now on this one. I'm on channel 15. And the reason I'm on 15 is personal choice. The other night I was on 14. I did 15 last night because we were at a venue and I had interference. So you want to make sure that both are on the same channel, okay? So you have channel 15 on this one, on my primary. On my second one, currently it's independent. I need to get them matched up. So when I click into my settings um, where it says wireless off, I'm gonna click that. And then I'm gonna go down to where it says receiver. Receiver with the radio icon. And that's what it should look like, okay? So as it focuses, this is my flash too. This is my off camera flash. So now you know that they're linked because there's little green dots, lines, lights at the top connected. Both are channel 15 and one is sender and one is receiver, okay? Now they're talking to each other. And this is where you get to start having fun. So on your primary, the way that I have it set up right out of that, this is B, A and B, one and two. Mag one, mag two, A and B. On the primary, on your mag one, <laughs> or on whatever you name your flash, there's gonna be, you're gonna actually see that there are two, there's an A and a B. And there's, you can see the power of each of those. This is the lens, I mean, sorry, this is the flash that controls both flashes and the power of both flashes. That way you're not walking across reception trying to like change like the power. No, you get to do it from the actual flash, okay? Mag 2 says B. I'm literally putting this on a stand and I'm leaving it, okay? Once reception starts or wherever I am, or I could be at a brand shoot, you know, doing portraits like I did for Elizabeth here. Um, I'm controlling the power that I want at my, on my, for my off camera and my primary. And the way that I do that is literally as simple. I'm pushing the center button. I click down to A, I click A, and then I have the ability to wheel. I can wheel this, you guys, and set the power of it. I hit enter to keep it. Um, 
And then this one, like I said, I'm not touching it. It's on a stand somewhere. So if I want to change that one, I'm going to hit the down button and drop down. I'm going to click the enter and I'm going to wheel that sucker wherever I want it. Okay. And you're going to do a test. As soon as you do it, you're going to test your flash and be like, oh great. I love it. Oh, that there's a little bit more harsh lighting than light on this side. Or you're like, oh, I want it a little bit prettier or like less like dramatic. Let's like add a little bit more light. Um, and this is, to be honest, this is how you get your reception pictures to look like natural light because you're basically pretending that like one of these are a window or this is the window or like both are a window. And so the beauty of this is that very quickly you can create and play with off camera flash without knowing all the settings within your flash. So I really hope that was helpful. It's very easy, very basic. If it was confusing, I'm really sorry. We tried to do it the best that I knew how. Um, and, and you're talking to someone who doesn't like flash normally. Um, and these new flashes that we got, the um, EL1s, we bought them three months ago. We've shot 20 weddings with them. We absolutely love them. Um, they're so easy to use. And again, like in the most simple form, you have two flashes, one on camera, one off camera. The off camera you're not touching once you have it set up as a receiving uh, flash on the same channel as your primary. Okay. Once you have your your them set, like I said, the green light shows the channels are the same. This one says sender. This one says receiver. They used to be called master and slave. Now it's sender and receiver. This goes on a tripod across the room. For now, I'm just gonna put it. I don't know where to put it. I'm actually gonna put it on the box. Hold on. Let's do this. So you guys can actually see how easy it is. So here's a box. Here is my two. Okay. You're going to see it go off. Here is my one going on the body of an R5 camera that currently has the amazing 28 to 70 on it. And as soon as I hit this, you guys, they're both going to go off. Could you see it? Could you tell? Here, I'll do that one out here. Okay. It's going off. It's triggering. Both are on working. It's that simple. Now you need to go play. Go try it in your house. Leave comments and questions below. I hope you guys this was helpful. Um, like I said, I used to hate off-camera flash. Now I love it. I feel like it's a game of playing. Um, so, yeah. Hope that's helpful. Have a great week, you guys. We'll see you back here soon.